What's going on you guys, Clear? Welcome back to the channel CodeCommerce and welcome back to the Material UI Crash Course. In this video, we're gonna be covering the toggle button. So let's go ahead and jump in here. So uh, if this is the first part you're watching of this series, then I'm gonna put a link down below in the description, a link to the first video where you can learn how to install and incorporate Material UI into your project. So make sure you watch that first if you need to learn how to install Material UI. It's very quick, takes about 30 seconds, super easy. So again, we're gonna be going over the toggle button right here. So let's go ahead and do this inputs folder that we have and I'm gonna go ahead and create a new component I'm gonna call it toggle uh, toggle button example .jsx, just like that so RFC is gonna give us our functional component here so I'm gonna close this one down let's go into our app.js and I'm gonna close this or comment that out rather and this is gonna be our toggle button example so let's just go ahead and import that and now we should just see a blank white page here with the toggle button example text in there. Okay, cool. So let's look at this. It's pretty easy. There's there's not a whole lot that you can do with the toggle button here. Um, I guess there's a lot of different functionalities you can use, but overall the the code's pretty uh, pretty short and pretty self-explanatory. So what we're gonna do first is let's go over here. It looks like this alignment tab here. So if you wanna uh, align some text on the screen or at least the button example, we're using some uh, React icons or sorry, Material UI icons. So let's just go ahead and paste this in here. So I'm gonna grab this toggle button in here. Go ahead and select everything just like so. And I'm just gonna paste it inside of our div here. So we'll get rid of that space. Now we're gonna get some errors by default because uh, we haven't imported anything here. So let's go ahead up here and we'll import all this stuff here. So make sure you import, or you install the uh, icons-material uh, material UI um, package there. Let's go ahead and look at this. So alignment is not defined. So it looks like we just need this code here. So we need some state in there. So uh, you can actually import the uState hook or if you wanna say react.uState, that's fine as well. And then we just need this handle alignment function here. Uh, it looks like it's passing in a couple arguments, just the event and new alignment. So let's go ahead and save. And Material UI is gonna handle all of this underneath the hood. So it was pretty cool. Uh, incredible functionality, you guys. Look at that, we just copy and pasted. And it already works just like that. Um, Looks like here we have multiple selection here, so you can actually select multiples. That's pretty neat. Let's see what else we have here. So you have a sizing property. Right now, probably by default, it's set to medium. So let's see where you add the size property on the toggle button group. So let's see our toggle button group. So you wanna say size small, something like that. Should shrink it down a little bit. Refresh, so you can see it dropped down a little bit. I'm gonna go back up to medium, we'll save. And then we also have a large. Go ahead and save that as well. It's gonna beef it up quite a bit, so that's kind of cool. Let's see colors here. What's this? Let's go ahead and take this. So I'm gonna grab this toggle button group. I'm gonna copy that in here. And I'm just gonna put this just below that, it's still inside our div there. Let's see, handle change is not defined. So let's go ahead and look here, it has a handle change. Handle change and looks like it's running some sort of function. So let's have a look. And there we go. We'll just copy that over. So we have handle alignment, handle change. Refresh, that's kind of cool. I have that nice little click effect on these as well. Uh, you could probably change the color on that. So color, primary, let's see, change the color. So I'll uh, say primary. We also have secondary, which by default, I think it's like a purple color. Properties, main, second, second, sp secondary. Well, I can't, still can't, <laughs> still can't spell that correctly. Secondary, let's go refresh. See, cool, now you have that purple color whenever you click, so that's kind of cool. Let's see what else we have. A vertical, you can stack these vertically. So looks like this is just a property inside of the toggle button group. So toggle button group looks like orientations not in there. So we can just paste that in there, orientation vertical. That should shift everything vertically. So that's kind of cool there. Let's see if we do that, this one here. And again, this is gonna be in the toggle button group, orientation property, go ahead and refresh. So that's kind of cool, nice. Looks pretty good there, nice, nice. Um, let's see what else we have. Actually just close this up. So let's see, material UI, gonna find this again. So docs, there we go, material UI. And we're looking at components, inputs, and we're looking at the top, not transfer list. We're gonna do that one next. There we go, cool. So Androids, vertical buttons, where are we at? So let's see. Yeah, standalone toggle button, it's kind of cool. Uh, some customization, 
yeah, I think that about wraps it up. So this is a pretty quick one, uh, pretty easy to use. You can see how fast we're able to incorporate something like this quite literally just copying and pasting so that's why i love material ui i love uh, especially if you're not a huge front end person then this really takes down like a lot of the design work it kind of has a lot of that built in for you so if you watch the channel you know i'm a huge fan of tailwind css but tailwind's not really like styled components like uh, material ui is so thanks for watching you guys let's move on to the last one of this series which is going to be the uh, transfer list example which is pretty cool it's a little bit more in depth so thanks for watching let's move on to that one